everybody, it's the Nintendo Hotspot here, and today I'm going to be doing my Kid Icarus Uprising unboxing. Okay, well, the pre-order bonus was phenomenal. Actually, it came with the original copy of Kid Icarus for the NES as a 3DS Classics download. It looks really cool. I just saw some videos about the Classics and how they kind of updated it into Remastered Glorious 3D, but, you know, I just really can't wait to play it. I really want to play this, actually. This is brand new. I just came back from GameStop and picked it up. I was waiting anxiously for a really long time to get this. This is Kid Icarus Uprising. You probably already know, but anyways. It came in the box. Now, I know it's going to come with some stuff, but I didn't know it was... I thought it was going to be separate, like how Super Mario 3D Land was. Not in the box. But then again, and it, then again, it's really cool. Let's take a look at the back. So it has some screenshots of the game. Pretty awesome. And I'm going to try my best to keep this intact, because this box is awesome. So, let's get ready and unbox this. Okay. Oh, cool. So, we have Kid Icarus Uprising and a uh, case. Well, not a case, sorry. A, the stand for the game. As usual, I am going to show off some gameplay. So, look. Wow, look at Kid Icarus Uprising. The box, well, the case actually looks the same as the... That is the box. Not nothing really different. Just the same, I guess, style. I cool. Oh, Nintendo Network. I never seen this sign before. Um, I'm just trying to take this all in. This is just so epic. I'm so glad I'm getting this game. I'm gonna set this aside. Now there's some more stuff in this box, and let's see what it is. Oh, okay. So we have a stand. Uh, the three DS game stand. Um, I guess this is how you work it. Let me move this box to the side. So if you ask me, I think I'm supposed to pick this, like, no, like this. There we go. Like this. Um, I guess the design is pretty sleek. It folds up nice. So if you, yeah, you're supposed to keep it like this, I believe. Um, yeah, I never really seen the, yeah, like this, because of the 3DS logo, oh boy, yeah, so, it's like this, I guess, well, yeah, it is, you rush your 3DS on here, right, like this, well, I'm going to show off this in the next part of this unboxing, but otherwise, it's pretty small, but again, it's really awesome, the fact that I have a stand for it, and I think it's going to feel much bigger when the 3DS is on it, actually, so here's the stand, and now, it's time for us to get into the unboxing of the game. Now, I'm going to cut off the plastic, so this doesn't take too long of me trying to rip it. <clears throat> okay. Ah. This plastic is so... Ugh. There we go. Throw that in the garbage. Okay, so here's the game. It actually kind of looks like it still has plastic on it with the glare. But let's open it up. Awesome. Wow. It has pictures of Pit right here. So, as you can see, it has the Nintendo 3DS stand instruction manual booklet thingy. I'm going to maybe not read this, but it is probably cool to have in handy. It has the Club Nintendo code, and don't even bother um, trying to enter this in, because by the time you guys watch this video, this code is going to be null and void. Okay, it says, if you like Kid Icarus Uprising, check out Mario Kart 7, Super Mario 3D Land, and The Legend of Zelda. Has some ads for Zelda, Super Mario 3D Land, and the back Mario Kart 7. Pretty cool. Awesome, look. AR cards. Wow. These actually kind of look like playing cards. I'm going to get back to this. But right for now, I'm going to... Actually, yeah. For now, I'm going to open up these AR cards. So, here, it comes like a little plastic... Nothing too fancy. It actually looks like a playing card on the back, but let's get into this as we open it. Okay. Open pretty easy, I guess. Feels like an AR card. So, we have Pit. 
Palloon, Palutina, Palutina, I'm sorry, I'm not really on that, um, great with names, apparently. Dark Pit, Three-Headed Hoodra, Hoodra, First Blade, and Mick. I, um, well, for, on, honestly, these actually feel a little bit a lot like the AR cards that I have. I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison. So right now I have the Samus AR card and the uh, Kid AR card. They both are about the same height, but instead they have something on the back which has nothing. That actually looks really cool. I'm really, I really like this, the AR card. So now we're going to finish this unboxing of this card. I think it was Paluta, Paluntina, I'm not so sure. So here is the, oh wow, the uh, manual. Oof, so, yeah, this is pretty big. Um, it's kind of like a poster, like, then a manual. It's, yeah, I think I'll probably, like, mm, yeah, it probably looks cool. My friend usually takes these and hangs them up, but I honestly did not. But I might try it this time, because this will actually look something like I would hang up. So, now we're going to get into the game card. So here's the game card. Let's zoom in on it. Kid Icarus Uprising. Nothing on the back, of course. Wow, this looks... <laughs> I'm so glad I got this game. So, we have that along with the AR cards. And now I'm going to show off some gameplay footage of Kid Icarus Uprising on my Nintendo 3DS while showing off the new 3DS stand. So, let's go. Okay, so just a heads up that my stand fits perfectly onto my 3DS. It actually, I never haven't really like played on it yet, but I have a feeling that's going to be really comfortable. So I'm going to take this and zoom in, and hopefully it actually is um much more stable. Because if you ever watch my previous videos before I got this, actually, um, my uh, <clears throat> my my stabilization was pretty off. But hopefully this can cure it. Cure that. Okay, so it looks like I'm pretty, uh, good. Alright, there. Great. So now let's go to Kid Icarus Uprising. Great, it, pre it played the original sound from the original Kid Icarus. Let's open this. Alright, I'm super excited to play this. <clears throat> Okay, at the bottom screen it's saying preparing to start game save. Oh. Well, that's cool. These graphics are like so good. Oh my gosh. I'm not looking in the viewfinder, I'm actually looking at the 3D screen and these graphics are awesome. So, we just saw Paul Antenna, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. And Ken, I'm so sorry about that. Okay, enough chit chat. Let's go play the game. New file. This is Fox. Okay, let's go to new file. Alright, there's my me. Make changes? Yes. No, don't make changes. Oh, crap. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna make it TNHS. NHS. Confirm. Birthday. Yeah, my normal birthday. And I'll keep my normal me, which is right here. Awesome! It looks kind of a lot, the bottom screen, like the. Um. <clears throat> like. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. See, like the style of it, how it says Solo, Vault, Street Pass, and Together. That is just reminded me of Super Smash Bros. Brawl as soon as I saw it. So I'm actually just like, this game looks like it has a ton of stuff to offer. So let's go ahead and tap into Solo. Now, since I just got the stand, which actually works really good. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. Couldn't they cut me off? Okay, I can do that. Okay, I can shoot with the L button. And aim with the touch screen. And aim with the touch screen. Move with the circle pad. Aim my attacks with the touch screen. And fire with the L button. 
Got it. Moving slowly in circles is a good way to avoid enemy fire. Moving even a little makes you harder to hit. Hold down the L button for continuous fire. Yes, and I'll have to press it over and over. No, if you don't good. shoot for a while, your reticle will change shape. When that happens, you can press the L button for a charged shot. Whoa, right. that really mows down the enemies. Good to know. That kind of sounded like Finn from Adventure Time. Uh, is that just me, or do you guys think so? Yeah, okay, thanks. The return of... Oh, Paltina, oh my gosh, I'm so off. I said Palutina, oh my gosh. Okay, well, let's go and let's shoot. The controls are actually not that bad. I can see why they added the uh, touchscreen. No, the um, stand. Ah! Crap, I got hit. These are underworld troops. Yeah. No. Almost dead. I'm focused on this uh, camera angle. Medusa. These controls are actually really easy to get used to. I thought they're going to be much harder. Just like watching reviews and stuff. So let me see if I can zoom up. There we go. Now that looks a much better view. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, good. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Uh. This music is insanely awesome. Ah, get out of my way. I didn't try this game in 3D yet. How about I do? Awesome! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, you better do something, bit. Come on, let's go. Okay, now this is awesome. Let's see if my quality improves or something like that. Nah. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. That's our guy. That guy really is pretty cool. Ah. Oh, by the way, um, maybe I'm going to go and do a review with Ultimate Gaming King 7 this weekend. So if I do, stay tuned with that. Oh my gosh. On land, you can use the touch screen to change the direction you're facing. Okay. So I can quickly change the way I'm facing by flicking the stylus. Yes, you can. Okay, not that hard. Circle pad in any direction to dash that way. Hold it to run. Combining dashes with different attacks really gives me a lot of options. You can also use dashes to dodge enemy fire. Wait for enemy fire to get close to you. Then flick the circle pad to dodge out of the way. Okay. Look at the how to play area to learn about many other techniques. Okay, good. <clears throat> I defeated 74 enemies. I don't know if that's good and I don't know if that's bad. Oh, uh, yeah, I gotta change my own. Okay, now I can see how people were saying that this, um, that the touchscreen wasn't as good because, yeah, I can see that. Well, this is a game where I feel that you have to get the hang of, um, moving. No, not necessarily moving in, like move, working with the touchscreen besides just clicking like A and B. Ah. There we go. Run, Pit, run.
I'm sorry about this terrible, terrible, terrible quality. Um, my camera is actually, like, going insane. Let's see if I can... Well, let me see if I can pause this, yeah. Let's see if I can... No. Ah! Uh, thank God I paused it. Sorry about that. Now let's focus. Oh, that looks much better, but eh. For soon. The touch screen, I guess people can say it gets annoying. I can see how people's frustration gets, like, where their frustration lies. Because I, I honestly can't see that. So, um, <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to kill these people. Okay, wow. Oh my gosh, these graphics look so good. Whoa! Okay, I gotta stay much more focused. Alright, uh, combo meal of pain. I guess that's a cool word. Um, yeah, so, stay tuned if me and Epic Power 100 go to, like, me do a review together. Ah, you don't shoot me! Ah! <laughs> oh yeah, this game is awesome. Eh, die, fool. Die, cretin. Don't try and screw me up. Okay, this video's going, well, this part's going on for, like, 9 minutes and 50 seconds. I know the gameplay. So, wow, this actually looks pretty awesome. You probably just heard that. That's, um, that's a, uh, I was another person. Well, never mind. Yeah! Yeah, this is working awesome. We have a sword now? Yeah! Okay, now this is awesome. Oh, crap. Dang it. Oh, yeah, I just got into a tight spot. Did I kill him? Victory is mine! Woo! -hoo. Okay, now I guess that's all I can go for right now because um, if I, I probably would be going on for like another 30 minutes. So yeah, actually this is pretty awesome. That was awesome. Open the treasure box. Treasure hunt. I'll open this one. Okay. Do I click L? I'm just kidding. Uh. Back. Move out. Uh. Practice. I'm gonna go back. Okay, so that's all I'm going to show for you guys today. Ah, crap. That's all I'm going to show for you guys today. Be sure to stay tuned for um, some Let's Plays of this game officially because I'm, I, the reason why I stopped my Let's Play before is because, well, not stopped it, the game broke, but now I have that, now that I have this, um, stand, it's actually going to be much easier for me to do Let's Plays, so I can't wait to do them. It's going to be super fun. So stay tuned, me and Epic Power, no, not Epic Power, me and Ultimate Gaming King 7 might do a video this, like, of, yeah, a review. And stay tuned for some Kid Icarus Uprising on videos. I'm so sorry that I haven't been on YouTube in a while. It's just that this whole YouTube change thing just really got me crazy. So if you want to actually add me on my 3DS, my friend code is at the top of my channel. And I have my friend code is going to be in the description. So we can verse each other in Kid Icarus Uprising. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Oh, <laughs>